Good afternoon from Northern Ontario. My name is Dave and this is Makiro Sadi, my uh, end scale layout. Today we're going to glue the, the rock castings that we've got. That was just some tiles falling down. Uh, we're going to glue the, the rock castings that I've made onto the walls of the quarry. Um, some of them fit perfectly, some of them will need lots of work. Uh, so what we're going to do is, I'm just going to do a partial because I don't think you need to see me do the whole thing. It's pretty well the same thing, glue gun stick, glue gun stick, and I'll talk as I do it and explain why I'm doing it a certain way. Um, so uh, on the weekend I uh, did uh, 26 castings of the long thin rocks. I've got other castings that are heavier and thicker but uh, they really don't fit into the wall size. So we're going to do that today. We're going to do uh, glue rocks in place. I'll, I'll probably do one side and maybe that back wall over there. Um, I'm just going to switch so you can actually see me. Okay, that's better, isn't it? <laughs> so what I was saying, I'm, we're going to do this wall here and the back wall down at the other end there. We're just going to do those two. And uh, I'll do the rest off camera. Uh, next week, uh, what we're probably going to do is uh, sculpt a mold uh, in between the rocks and around them to, to finish them off and make them look pretty. I'm, I'm also going to probably next week, I'm going to experiment making my own sculpt mold for, first. Uh, uh, probably that's what we'll do for that whole video is make the sculpt mold and then compare it to the real stuff. We've got three bags of the real stuff and... Uh, it, it's not cheap to use, so again, I'm I'm going for the 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 Scottish way of doing things. So it's just so let's save some money. Um, so here we go. I've got a glue gun set sit here. I've got a silicone pad to catch any glue that drips. I'll be switching back and forth between the the walls, but I'm going to start going to start with this one, I think, and we'll work our way to the corner. Um, the first thing to do. And Lord knows where to put it. Oh, right here. I am going to take my little saw here and create an angle that matches the angle and then just snap it off. I don't have to saw all the way through, just like that. So that way, that one fits right in here, tight as can be. I, I don't know if, let me see if, I'm just going to see if the other camera shows you that better. That is camera three. Yeah, so you can see here that I've, I've cut it at an angle, and it's tight against there. So, and I've got a little bench down here to stand on, that's what knocked over that tile down there. I use the tiles for weights for holding stuff when I glue. So, here we go. So, hot glue over the back. Careful not to get it on your fingers. Gonna burn yourself. And stick. Now I'm gonna bring this one up right beside it. And the same deal again. Hot glue on the back. got two glue guns. I've got a wire, uh, a battery powered wireless thing. But in a situation like this, you have to keep putting it back on the stand all the time for it to stay hot. And we're not going to do that. We're going to, we're going to just keep going. So here we go. You're going to see more of my hands and, and the rocks than you are going to see of my face. And, uh, So like I said, next time, I'm going to experiment making my own sculpture mold, and uh, the following video will probably come back to the, the quarry itself and using a combination of the sculpture mold and
these as close to... Now, one of the things I thought about when I was starting to glue these things down, where do you line it up? Do you line it up on the bottom or you line it up on the top? I'm going to line these up on the top, and that way I can squeeze sculpt them all underneath them to uh, to make them all look pretty and like they're solid walls and they're not individual pieces of, of, of castings. That underneath I can push sculpt them all in there and then blend it in and, uh, and make it line up nice and pretty. Now some of these molds got broken coming out of the mold but as you can see I just put this one back together and with just a tiny little bit of either plaster Paris or a uh, sculpture mold or a body filler or something I can I can come in here and, and clean it up really good. So now here we go again we've got a uh, just grab my saw and I do have a pencil here. Okay. I'm going to grab this piece of plaster and I'm going to draw a diagonal line on it here. I'm going to take the saw. It's got a very fine blade on it, so it's, it, I don't know if it's really cutting or whether it's just pushing its way in. But we'll, we'll just keep going. So, here again, quick saw, nice clean line and snap. And look at that. Fits perfect. So once again, glue gun and we're going to go through a lot of glue today. Alright, so you can see how easy that is. We got one, the whole top top deck done here in just a couple of minutes. And now I'm going to go back over here and we're going to start again. We're going to work our way out to this end again. So here we go. So this time too, I'm just going to get rid of one of that's in the way here. I'm going to punch over here as well. And I'm going to put that in there. I got my saw, my pencil. Now these angles should be pretty much the same because I cut them all on this table saw. So it shouldn't be, after a little while, I'll probably just be able to eyeball it. Won't need to stick it up against there. So there, there we go again. That's going right there like that. And again, more glue. Goes. Oops, did I snap that? That's okay. That's good. That's good like that. Oh, we're gonna have to figure I'm gonna figure out how to do that. What I'm gonna do. Okay, so again, this one I'm gonna lift up to the top here. And again. So when I did I said I did 26 moles. I did I have 13 molds of uh, these long thin ro rocks and I cast them twice one on Saturday one on Sunday giving the giving them enough time to set up in the uh, in the mold so that I can uh, I wouldn't be breaking anything as I was taking it out now this one I don't know if you can see can you see that one that one's gray, and it's gray all the way through, and that's what I meant when I, I said in the last video, uh, at the end of the last video, I think I said that I had put uh, gray uh, kids, uh, dollar store kids poster paints uh, uh, in the mix when I was mixing them. And so that's, this particular rock is going to be 100% gray all the way through, whereas most of the rest of them are going to be that off white that the plaster of Paris is. Alright, another new glue stick already.
Now we got one very long one here. And I want to see how much we've got at the end there. So I might be able to just take a piece and stick it in there, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Like that. It's, uh, yeah, because they're at the wrong angles. Yeah, that's the wrong angle. So I, I'll find a small piece oh, right here. And I'll take that and I'll cut it and slip it in here. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do that backwards. We're going to put the small piece in here. So again, mark out the angle. And I'm melting the bag of glue sticks here with the tip of the glue gun. So, here we go. Now this one's one from the very first day I did did the molds for you on, 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 the, on the channel. And it's a lot drier and stiffer. So, once more. Now the backs of these aren't truly flat, so that's going to contribute to uh, to the rock faces having a little bit of undulation to them. All right, now let's take that. I'm going to mark it. Saw, make a couple of lines and snap it, and then let's see if it fits in here nice and pretty. Okay, I'm going to turn that around. I'm going to make sure that the, the slopey part is up at the top here. And like I say, I'll be able to play, put sculpture mold across the tops of these. That'll give me that little ridge at the top of each one of them, and uh, allow me to. To make it look like it's one solid wall instead of bits and pieces of wall. Alright. There we go again. Nice and tight in there, super. Okay, we're going to come back here now. Now, I got lucky here. The foam isn't all the way into the corner, so I can just go ahead and do that. And I think this one, this one goes there. This one's not going to be used. It's too heavy and thick. It doesn't match. So here we go. More glue. So what I'll do is this bottom strip. Like that. Get this one. I do think that in some of these gaps, I'm going to mix up a thicker batch of plaster of Paris and uh, thicker bunch of plaster of Paris and uh, and work in some of these to to join the plasters together. But I think this is going to go pretty quick so this video won't be that long but I just wanted to give you an idea of where I'm going with this will be more of course when we start the plaster and sculpt the mold and stuff will be again we'll probably just do a section because it's it might take me an hour to do do something and I don't think you guys want to hang around for an hour for that It's in there nicely. I'm putting on a pretty heavy layer of, uh, of glue stick to make sure that it's stick because of the, the fact that these are not these are not 100% uh, flat on the back. I don't want to put the glue on the uh, on the foam itself because it just might 
melt into the foam before it does any sticking. But we'll see here. Here we go. Just a little bit more, and we're almost out of that stick again. This one you didn't have to cut because it fits nice and snug right there. Okay, so I've done that three, that, that three strips. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across this way along the end. I'm just going to switch the, the camera over here to... And where are we going to? We are going to camera one, I think. Yeah, there we are, camera one. Got a three camera set up. I'm looking to buy a fourth camera to do it, one that shoots straight down overhead. And I'm going to have to build a rig in the ceiling to hold it. But, here we go. So, this will need to be trimmed. So, again. And saw, again, this is one that was done almost a week ago when we first did the castings. And I said this was one when it was done. Oh, well, let's see if we can snap it up. No, no, wow. Oh, there we go. Now I do have a I have a tile saw over there, and I I was thinking about using it to uh, to cut these, but. For now, I'm just going to use this little razor saw and uh, and do it that way. If, uh, if one of these are overly thick, and most of them I can I can make some kind of score in them for gluing, for snapping it off, and then gluing it down. So here we go. There, that's good. Now let's bring this one over. And one more. This is another gray one that was made <laughs> almost a year ago. And it's going to be nice and solid. Let's see, I, don't, I don't need to saw the point that's here. I just did and I, uh, oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't solder that because I'm going to have to put that back together. Well, that goes there. And again, Our third glue stick here. Like I said, I'm putting down a pretty thick coat of hot glue because the backs of these are not all the same. What I do here is take these down so I can come across and do that corner. And I think we'll stop once we get these two in here. And that should that should be enough for you to get an idea of what I'm doing here with this uh, with uh, laying the rocks in. Now this one's going that way, so it's going to be cut, cut like this. get a knife. I forgot. There's the, there's the green, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the, the green uh, reinforcing mesh that I use in the back. And on this one it's real close, close to the end, so. Okay, that's okay there. I'll grab a pencil. Cut down there. So 
straight out. And take the knife and cut through that mesh. Okay. Again, trying to put it up at near the top, so I can just come across here with the with the sculpt mold, and then up the, the front. All right, we got one more to do here, and let's see. Uh, it's going to be cut like that. So not. This is another one where <laughs> the, the tile saw might have been a good idea. Oh, I've just broken that off. I have to fix that. There we go. Now I'll just double check to see if it, what, what the fit is. I've got to, I've got to trim off some more here. And it looks like right about there. Well, before I do that I'm going to repair the one I just own. Oh, that's why. I wonder why I just like that. Did I not glue that? I must have glued that. Anyway, it's glued now. Yeah, because that was glued. I just didn't do it all the way at the end. No wonder it snapped off. Now, let's check and see this again. There's the mark. Put that on there. Stop it from burning things. Deeper. Let's see what happens. Oh no! There we go. Okay. Okay. So this will be the last one on on, on that I'm going to do with the cameras running because uh, this is becoming pretty repetitious. And I don't think you need to see it all the way through. There we go. And that was down in there. A little bit of glue on my fingers. That smarts a bit. All right. So, just climbed out. So, as you can see, it's, uh, I, how long have we been at this? Oh, 23 minutes. I think that is enough. Um, so, uh, as you can see, it's, it's uh, fairly repetitious, but, but it's going to work. You know, like I said, our, our next, the next uh, week's uh, video will be on uh, experimenting making my own sculpt mold, and uh, uh, that'll probably be a short, maybe uh, 20, 25 minute uh, thing. Uh, sculptable takes a long time to dry and in a, in a cold basement it takes probably even longer. So we're going to see what we're going to do there. Um, but like I said, we're going to, I'm going to continue on uh, now uh, without the cameras running because again I don't think you need to watch watch me do this over and over and over again. But just so you can get the idea. Um, the uh, the molds are working out pretty well. I have made some small molds. I have made some very thin molds. Um, and uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to buy a mold of uh, a concrete retaining wall. And I've got them sitting, sitting just over here somewhere. Um, and they might go inside the... Uh, They may go down in here because there's already uh, a, a uh, 
a wall that goes around the crusher down inside here and uh, it's a uh, 3D printed uh, uh, mosaic kind of uh, interlocking huge chunks of concrete and I thought well then we could just continue the concrete going up here uh, but instead of it being rock uh, make it look like it was like they poured a uh, a wall along both sides so I'm going to be probably making more of those molds I only have like one two three four maybe five six of them made uh, I, don't know, I made four molds uh, to make those so I should have I should have sat down and made more uh, more castings but that's probably going to be one of the last areas that I actually put uh, put something in um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the camera and swing it over here um, so right here uh, is going to be a road that goes into this area of the, the quarry uh, the generator is going to be here, the oil farm is going to be here, or the, the diesel farm is going to be here, and probably a couple of other repair buildings and stuff. And um, the reason for having, for deciding to make the road go in this way was that we have all these tracks up here. Uh, there's one, two, three, four tracks that I, have, I would have to build road crossings over. And uh, that's just, uh, you know, not going to happen. Uh, it's just uh, uh, it's just not going to happen because it wouldn't make sense. I, I don't think somebody would design a mine where where you would have your uh, your switching area with uh, crossovers on it to uh, to allow vehicles to go back and forth. There's enough space in the back corner back corner over there to um, to allow vehicles to go around it, but not but putting a road across somewhere here what didn't make any sense to me so yesterday I just uh, I glued down some uh, cork road bed upside down interlocking the, the the angles so it came smooth with this one here and then here uh, again the same thing cork road bed there's cork road bed underneath here but this top surface this lighter surface that you're seeing this is one millimeter thick cork and it is the perfect thickness and scale for uh, and scale. Also, it is the perfect height between the uh, the ties and the top of the rail. With the the edge of the cork sitting right on top of all of the little uh, joiner things that hold the the, the rail to the uh, to the uh, the ties. So this actually, I could take these pins out of here now. Um, and this will allow for vehicles to go across here and come inside the back of the, the quarry, this, this large area back here. So that's it for today. Uh, I want to thank you for, for watching. Um, as always, uh, if you like what you see, I, I wouldn't uh, hit the like button. If uh, you want to su subscribe, that would be great. But as I've said many times, and probably in every video, I'm doing this for my own edification and not 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 to become a YouTube star. Um, the uh, the quarry is going to be the major focus for a little while now. Uh, cameras will probably stay set up this way, except if I'm doing an experiment at the work table, which is over on the other side here, because the table is just over on that side. So all I have to do is turn the cameras and the lights around, and they're 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 shooting the uh, the work table. But I got to clean that work table up because it's still got all the plaster stuff on it. So anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, until I see you, have a good day, and uh, we're done for now. See ya.